Have you ever heard the saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans? Well, next Sunday is the Feast of Pentecost, and we as a parish had great plans to celebrate the occasion by decking out the church with international flags and proclaiming the reading in the gospel in foreign languages. Then afterwards, we'd planned a shared table in the school hall, expecting hundreds of people to gather together in celebration. Sadly now, due to the coronavirus pandemic, none of those plans will come to fruition. The church is closed and many of our parishioners are locked in their homes, fearful of what's happening outside and what may happen to them if they go out. In the Gospel on Pentecost Sunday, we'll hear how the Apostles of Jesus were also locked in a room contemplating what had happened to their friend and afraid the same fate awaited them should they venture outside. The bolted doors of their room kept them safe from the Jews but it didn't stop Jesus from entering their lives. He brought the apostles peace and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to give them the courage to face difficulties in the future. We cannot see the virus, but we can see God in the risen Christ. If we have faith and trust in God, we too can share the peace and the gifts of the Holy Spirit given to the Apostles on that day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit, promised by Jesus, can help us in every situation and be our guide, our protection and our strength. So now, let us pray. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen.